When we had last left Andreas, he investigated the nun convent where a, vo- a bunch of mysterious things were uncovered, all things that pointed to none other than Brother Guy. And in delivering a delicious meal, they also got a chance to chat with the rest of the monks who were holed up inside of the library. Times were dire, despite uh, the monks kind of doing well for themselves relative to tassing itself. But also uncovered at the abattoir was uh, even more incriminating evidence pointing toward Brother Guy. Could Brother Guy be the killer? It seemed likely. But at the same time, what was inexplicable was the writing on the various notes and everything. However, it was clear that Brother Guy was very guilty of embezzling money. Now, it was time to go look for some herbs with the help of Gertrude. Could that even be done at this hour? It was time to find out. This is Pentiment. Welcome back. Let's head on out, I guess. Let's see. Because Adik needs herbs and potentially Volkbert does too. Anything else over here? Nope. Same, same. All right. Carl, do you have anything else to say? No. Same as well. Should we maybe fully explore the area or something? Right? I don't know. Yeah, we've been through here. Fabian, Joseph. Same stuff over this way. We could check out, like, the storage cellar, right? Where all the food was, and we can look at that. We haven't been in there since the abbey was raided. Let's check the cemetery real quick. Okay, anything changed down this way? No, I don't think so. How about the animal pens? We definitely went here for the abattoir, but I didn't really look too closely at the actual animals now. It looks about the same. Okay, fair enough. Good, let's go over to the large garden. Kitchen and cellar. Now this, I'm sure we'll have something interesting, right? Got to. Okay, let's check this cell- well, no, let's check this area first. Refectory. Well, not much of a sign of intrusion here. I'm assuming the cellar, however, right? Oh no! There's still this mysterious cat here with a sausage, just staring at me, or staring up in awe at the feeling of getting such a cool sausage, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's check the refectory. This is where they would eat, right? Yeah. No, nothing much. Okay. It's really the crypt. Okay, over here, cloister. Did we check at the courtyard and lavatorium? Hmm. Nothing of interest. Okay, sure. Man, you know what? Thinking about now, what do you want to bet? The fucking mines? You know, the old abandoned mines or whatever? What do you want to bet they dug into the ruins? The Roman ruins and all of that. I bet there's like a secret route. Hmm. Oh, which would imply that anyone who is interested in mining might know, right? Because if you're a miner, you may have like gone into that area and discovered the like paths and everything. Most of these medicines were made by Agnes Steinauer and it, with some help from Sister Gertrude. Okay, well, that is of little help to us. Okay, I guess we'll continue on out of here. Doesn't seem like there's much we can take a look at. Can check the shrine. Yeah, 
The reliquary used to contain the hand of St. Morris. It appears to be missing now. I wonder where it's gone. Yeah, that's a good point. We haven't found the, the hand. Hmm. Okay. Like, finding the hand is probably going to be kind of a big deal, right? Let's pet this, this cat. Or was the... Did the hand only go missing since the raid, or had the hand been missing for a while now? I wonder. You know who actually did have... who was watching over the hand? It was Brother Guy, right? He was watching over that. Maybe Brother Guy has it stashed somewhere. Jedna. Greetings. Nah, nothing new. We can check the Priorus's house, I guess. Illuminata is here. Yeah, Gertrude is not out at this hour. Well, yeah, nothing. Okay. And without Gertrude, we definitely can't get any of the, like, remedies for the people who need them. Okay, let's head on down to the lower abbey. Good. And then over here... Should we check out the guest house? No, it's completely locked. Okay, how about over here? Anything different? Did we look in the abbot house? I think we did. Yeah, okay. Man. Alright, let's go back to town. Let's sift through as much of town as we possibly can at this hour. Just in the hopes that we find something incidental or whatever, right? Even at this time of the night. Let's head over to the forest. Let's go over to the shrine, check this out, see if there's anything new here. No. Oh, and we can't go back to the ruins from here. Interesting. So that was a one and done. Right, because I don't think we can access it again via the aqueduct area where the drawings are. Paul's drawings. Okay. Yeah, nothing new there. Old salt mine. Anything over this way? This plant, is this new? What the fuck? Oh, I got a Chivo for it too. Master Andreas, more flowers! Still not quite the match we're looking for. Surely we'll find the right ones. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Two innocents. Hmm. Alright, head on over here. I guess we would have, um, that's probably just a remainder from the investigation into the yellow flower, right? Okay, Smokey's house. Hey, Smokey, do you have anything to say? Good to see you, Master Mahler. Oh, this one. Here's some flowers, Master. Hmm, close, but not a match to the ones you found. Let's keep searching. Okay. What's going on with that squirrel? Oh, okay. I thought it was, like, laying flat. <laughs> with its tail up. Okay. Yeah. Brother Wojslav uses thyme in almost all of the Abbey's cooking. Maybe because it grows so easily here. I'm gonna say I've heard uh, people pronounce it thyme. Rather than thyme. Sort of like basil and basil, I want to say. I'm not sure, though. Anything else going on in here? No. Any, any new developments with this mysterious maze? Huh. Okay. I guess we'll say something different, right? This painting of the Virgin Mary is quite lovely, especially for such a rural church. Huh. Maybe that's something peculiar, too. Sort of like how the windmill seems off. Which we still don't really know too much about the windmill. Okay, because it was definitely kind of hinting at something being revealed, but maybe that's just because we didn't have a meal with them. And it would have been revealed at that time. Okay. 
Anybody have an open house at this time of the night? Probably not. Steinauer house. Bakery. Nope. Let's check North Town. Do we know where they put the body? Hmm. I wonder how long Wrath House construction will be delayed now. Yeah, these two, their houses are locked. Okay. Tassing is lucky to have so much wound ward. Yep. Okay. Let's head down over here. Yeah, it's looking like we're not going to have anything else for tonight. We were lucky to find what we what we did earlier, I think. Anything in the center? Anton? No. It is odd that you're out here at this hour, Anton. That is peculiar. But not, like, murderous peculiar. Okay, there's the Bowers. I still cannot get over the Martin Bowers situation. That is fucking buck wild to me. <laughs> That is so fucking wild. Okay. Nothing over here. And Johan, like, fucking knew it. How? Like, how? <laughs> I thought he was just, like, fucking losing it, you know? Man, okay. Over this way. Gertner house. Okay. Yeah. Nothing. Let's head on over to the inn. I guess maybe we can go over to the inn and check around. Maybe something will be there. I really doubt it, though. Probably just for sleep. It is interesting that we can enter the church at this hour, you know? Okay. Golden Hand Inn. Hey, kid. Killian. Good day. Nico. Hello. Samuel. Hello. We don't really know much about this Samuel dude whatsoever. Despite him, like, being here every day. You don't think he's, like, spying on the town or whatever, right? Like, he's, he's one of the, like, fucking inquisitor cops or whatever. He's, like, keeping an eye on the situation or something. Oh, Hannah. Hello, Master Mahler. Anything I can do for you? Yes, actually. You must want a break from all the work sometimes. A way to let off steam. I don't understand, Andreas. I know what you do by the Ro Roman ruins. I know you're cheating on your husband with Leonard. But really, Hannah, Leonard, you could do better. I know you're cheating on your husband with Leonard. Let's just tell her. How did you know? Did Leonard tell you? I overheard the two of you talking by the old aqueduct. It doesn't matter. It's not hard to figure out. Do we want her to know? I overheard the two of you talking by the old aqueduct. Oh, God. Leonard was right. Damn it, Andreas. What do you want from me? Why did you do it? Leonard is handsome, strong, forthright. He knows what he wants. A proper man. Not like Nico. Nico is so boring. Weak. He avoids taking a stance, avoids making the tough choices. I see. So when it comes to tough choices... Oh, complimented the inn. If you're so willing to cheat on your husband... I bet you'd do whatever it takes to keep the inn running. Persuade her. Failure. By God, Andreas, are you accusing me of killing Otto? I disagreed with Otto, but why would I want to kill him? Look around. Is Tassing better with him dead? First, you hold the ruin of my family over my head, and now this? Unless there's anything more you need, I won't abide by this foolishness. I'm not convinced that, um... She killed him. I, I really don't think so. It's possible Brother Guy did, but it's also possible he didn't, right? Let's remain silent. Good day, Andreas. Okay. Let's continue over here. Go to bed. 
All right. Getting late. Should get some rest. I wonder if I'll have a dream. Let's go to sleep. All right. Hmm. Should we still try to follow up with um, Gertrude in the morning? Or should we try to prez some of our other leads and stuff? Oh. Oh. <gasps> It's Peter. Oh, shit. Andreas, get up. Wake your boy, too. Peter, what the hell are you all doing here? How the hell did you get in? Why, what's happened now? Why, what's happened? We're finishing this. You're needed in the commons now. Ellipses. Let's go. We'll be asking the questions, Mauler. All right, all right. We'll get dressed and be along. Fuck, we had even less time. Oh, man. Caspar, wake up. Caspar, get up. Caspar, wake up. Uh, Master Andreas? What's going on? It's the middle of the night. Something's happening in the comments. Peter and the others want us there. Will we be all right, Master Andreas? Don't worry. I won't let anything happen to you. We'll be fine. Peter seems upset, but we should be fine. I think. Remain silent. Um. Hmm. Would I rather be honest or protective? Huh. I don't know. You're like a, a young teen or something. I don't know. Let's try honesty. Peter seems upset, but we should be fine, I think. Man, look at Ava still. Of course, right? All right. Now that everyone's here, we can start. Start? Start what? Wait, what the hell did you wake me up for? Start? Start what? We're holding a trial for Otto's murderer. You're the one with the evidence. Are you mad? What about the law? We should wait for a judge, not do this ourselves. You woke me up for a trial? Peter, the Duke will pounce on any hint of rebellion. We can't let this go too far. Huh. Let's go with this. You woke me up for a trial? Yes, we damn well did. You've had your time, and we need justice now. Well, whatever you found, we're all waiting. Hold on, I've barely had a day to investigate. I can hardly come to a conclusion so soon. Answer the man, please, Andres. Give us a killer. Calm down, everyone. This isn't fair. Well, you'd better fucking decide, Mahler. Or you can watch that damned Abby go up in flames. Oh. Agnes, be quiet. Ellipses. I have a woman in labor right next door. This behavior is shameful. If she loses her child because of this fighting, it will be on your souls. Agnes is right. I know you want justice for my husband, for your friend, but I don't want things to get worse than they already are. Please, Dad, give Andreas a little more time. Ellipses. Fine. Andreas, you've got until that baby is born. After that, we'll claim our justice. Work fast, Mahler. Eh, it's the right decision, Peter. Hm. Oh, fuck, who is this? Tristan? Good evening. <laughs> Sorry, the music. I don't know. <laughs> that made me think that's that's how he sounds. Ellipses. Is it customary in Tassing that the people gather in the commons in the middle of the night? Uh, we do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. Who's asking? My name is Tristan von Fronberg. I'm here on behalf of the Duke of Bavaria. <laughs> oh, shit. The Duke is aware that you have been disturbing and discussing the distributing and discussing the Twelve Articles. He is also aware that you have been disputing conditions and taxation of taxation and land use with the Abbot of Kearsall. 
The Duke is merciful. He does not seek to punish Tassing for these disputes. But his mercy has limits. The Duke has become aware that you have imprisoned the abbot and monks of Kearsall within the ab- How does he know? <gasps> the spy guy, Samuel. What else could he be for? How else would he get an information out? It's him. He's a spy. This is insult. This is rebellion. For this, there can be neither tolerance nor mercy. You have until sunset tomorrow to vacate Kearsall Abbey and release the abbot and all monks. If this is not done, the Duke's soldiers will enter the town and the abbey in force. As certain as night follows day, they will kill every man and boy who stands in their way. What? God protect us. No, no. Oh. We never wanted to threaten the abbot, sir. He wouldn't listen to our demands. We're starving. Such efforts were necessary since the townsfolk are also suffering under the abbot's increased taxes. The duke is aware of the town's complaints and finds some merit in them. He believes some concessions can be made regarding the death tax and use of the forest for wood. Of course, only under the strict condition that the abbot is released, unharmed. And what do the peasants get? What about our taxes? What about the right to use the woods for grazing, for fishing? The duke is unwilling to make additional concessions. You can release the abbot and take what is offered, or you can remain defiant and face the consequences. It will yield you little save steel and fire. Sunset tomorrow. Oh my god. Look at this prick and his little fucking flag. I feel like this is not gonna go fucking well. Rude awakening. Oh, fuck. Alright. Yeah, the room is not what I'm used to. Final hours. Soldiers approach. Twelve hours remain. Yeah, we got time extension. <laughs> okay. Hannah? Hello, Master Mahler. Anything I can do for you? No, nothing. Sorry to bother you. Man, the bells. They toll. Joshua? God bless you. Killian. Good day. Nico? Oh. Oh, Master Mahler, is there anything I can do for you? Nico, have you heard anyone in here talking about Otto's murder? Not just talking about it, but you know. Yeah, you know. Hmm, exactly. Like they had something to do with it? Oh no, I think I'd remember something like that. Then again, I try not to eavesdrop on conversations. I don't want to get yelled at, or worse. But maybe you could find more luck talking to people. Beer always tends to loosen people's lips. Buy a round for everyone, and you can have the run of the place. You'll be here a while, though. Okay, yeah, I think we've heard this before, right? Maybe later. Okay. Samuel. And why else would he be, like, ready readying his weapon if not to use it here? To put down a peasant revolt or whatever. Fuck off. All right, let's go over this way. Let's see here. What is that sound? Oh my gosh, is it the coming of the Duke? Are there like players or something now in the commons? Is that from this game or am I like tripping balls? I feel like it is. Okay. Atelia, anything new? No. Hope the soldiers don't get here before Peter can grab the abbot. <laughs> Father Thomas. Ah, Andreas. I don't suppose you've come for our local St. John's Day confession? I have to give priority to the locals, of course, but if you want to wait a few hours, I can hear you. 
You don't have to, of course, but I would be remiss if I didn't offer. In fact, that sounds just fine to me. Not right now, Father, but thank you. Of course. Oh, uh, I bet you know what? During that, we could have also heard about, um... What's her name? And Leonard fucking Hannah. Okay. Let's see. Drucker House. Actually, let's bring up our map. Huh. Investigate, yeah. Okay, we got stuff at the mill. At the Golden Hand, we could do something. Here, saw Abby. No, actually, nothing there. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. But over this way... There's Magdalene. Hey. Klaus. Hello, Andreas. Let's go on down here. Oh, man. Up here. Central town. Hey, Lucky. What have you got to say? Anything? Andreas! Not looking good, is it? I warned you there'd be blood. Looks like only the beginning to me, too. So you did. I have to find the real killer before things get worse. Worse. Otto's, Otto didn't deserve this. He was an honest man with a good cause. Otto didn't deserve this. Nobody deserves to die like this. Best you get on solving this, Andreas. The unrest bodes ill. Peasants are about to do something foolish. Why haven't you told them about the secret entrance into the library? I don't always see eye to eye with Peter and the rest, but I don't want them all killed. If they got into the library, I don't even wish to imagine what they could do. The soldiers would strike back, and there'd be a massacre in Tassing. I have no choice but to stop them. Do you have any thoughts on who might have done this? You didn't kill Otto, did you? <laughs> I don't think he did. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on who might have done this? No. Otto's got... Otto had a few conflicts, but nobody I'd call an enemy. Best of luck to you, Andreas. You don't have much time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it's someone who wanted to avoid the greater conflict, right? They tried to do the killing for the greater good, you know? Just as was with, um, killing the Baron when they had the opportunity. It's someone who, um, is like playing vigilante or whatever, you know? Right, they've taken, like, the law into their own hands, but just as well. And I bet it comes down to this. I was thinking about this the other day. Um, I bet it comes down to this point of contention when we finally do confront them. They will point out that we have also, in a sense, taken the law into our own hands, right? We have, um, in a way, played judge, right? Because if they're the killer and they're like, yeah, I was the killer every fucking time, right? Even if you thought... Regardless of, like, what kind of player you were and you thought that there was a grander conspiracy or you genuinely thought that someone did it, if they just come out and, and they're like, yeah, it was me every time, and who are you to pass judgment on me for doing this for the greater good when you've been doing very similar things, right? And I don't fucking know what the answer is because we are definitely guilty of that, right? Andreas... I can't talk right now. I need to watch over Rachel. Man, that's just... That's gonna end up bad, too. <laughs> it is a ticking time bomb, right? It's just not when it when labor happens. It's when the baby's gonna fly out. Ulrich? Andreas, seems you're in the thick of another mystery again. It's not by my choosing, I swear. So it would seem. I solved the last one, I'll solve this one. It's not by my choosing, I swear. It's good of you to take it on in any case. We need your help. The peasants are angry. Even if what you and Kaspar said about the abbot makes sense, they don't want to hear it. It's too easy to blame Father Gerno for Otto's murder. Do you know anything about who might have killed Otto? Can you talk to Peter? He's putting everyone in danger by threatening the abbey. Do you know anything about who might have killed Otto? Andreas, if I knew anything, I'd tell you. I'd tell Peter. 
I'm critical of the abbot, but I still love the man. I still love all the brothers and sisters at Kearsaw. I don't want to see them harmed any more than you do. If I see or hear anything that could help, you'll be the first person I tell. Thank you, Ulrich. All right, I'll keep doing what I can. Thank you. It's the least I can do. Keep faith, Andreas. Trust in Providence. We are all in God's hands. Hey, Anna. Anything? Hello, Master Andreas. Gret? God bless you, Andreas. Okay. Let's head on down over here. Let's check the North Town. We never really ha got to have words with these two, just casually, right? Bring up our map. Do we even have an investigation we can do here at either of their places? No, it's the mill. Um, I guess pressing Leonard. Uh, we could also do beer there. We could listen to confessions. Right? Yeah, those are just the three points of investigation we have right now. Hmm. And right now, like, at the Golden Hand, I don't know what what we might get from that. Right? There's also confessions. I feel like we're just going to hear um, Hannah confess about cheating on her husband. Right? I feel like that's it. Maybe we'll hear Martin confess, right? At the mill. I'm not sure what to expect at the mill, which kind of makes me want to do it. You know? Okay. Let's check the Stoltz house. Still, I do need to get the, like, herbs from Gertrude, right? Werner. Hello? Anything of interest in here? No. Jeez, what a nice house. Just for you too, I think. Eisenkopf. Over here. Can you help me with anything? Greetings, Andreas. You've arrived at the ideal moment. All right, less than ideal, considering all those recent deaths. It is a great tragedy. It took place right outside your house. You truly didn't catch anything that would be useful to my investigation? You didn't catch anything? Alas, as said, Werner and Lenhardt and I were engaged in a stimulating debate when we heard the crash outside. I only saw a figure flee, but unfortunately I have no useful details on whoever it may have been. I hope you find the lead, for I have severe doubts about the involvement of the abbot in this gruesome affair. Meanwhile, I am drawing close to the final design of my latest innovation. As such, I would very much like to hear your thoughts on it. Of course, you asked me to come share ideas. It doesn't feel most appropriate, considering, considering the circumstances, but I suppose I can listen. Splendid. I have been devising something most unique. Come. At present, we have a problem. The peasants suffer under harsh conditions. Do you agree? They do not have it easy. No. That's what they've been saying. I'm not that certain, though. Life isn't easy for anyone. They do not have it easy. No. They toil constantly, but achieve little over bare substance. subsistence. They are then taxed heavily. The peasants grow angrier, hence the nascent troubles all across the lands. It is a dangerous time. So, I have devised a tool to lessen their drudgery. Here, take a look at his schematic. Oh, <laughs> look, what the fuck? Oh... Okay, yeah, a plow, but why is there, like, a fucking cyborg on the front of it? <laughs> Behold the plow. In front of it, an automaton, man or beast, it matters little, dragging the plow behind it. Have you seen any artificial people before? The Froenkirsch clock at Nuremberg features a procession of mechanical men. Manlil Hlofen. That can be seen on midday. Can't say that I have. Fuck it, let's say this. 
a proud tribute to our holy emperor. So you understand of which I speak, the intricacies of machinery. Gears within gears, symmetric coils turning a shaft system that leads to the gearing mechanism. Controls that are quite complex, but allow for it to follow a predetermined path. It toils so the peasant does not have to. What provides it with energy? It can't operate for long on the power of a spring alone. Huh. Would it have enough strength to plow through rough soil? I see. Let's use our craftsman check here. What provides it with energy? Leonardo has written of what he calls smoke turbines. So for a while, I thought to add a furnace, but it is far too cumbersome. Like many of his inventions, it has proven lacking in actual practicality. The universe reveals itself through the minute intricacies of clockwork. There are still a few imperfections to work out, but I can feel I am on the correct path. Tell me, Andreas, what do you think? Be truthful. There can be no progress without truth. Heavens and Earth. We already have ways to harness the incredible strength of oxen and horses, so what's the point? It's great. Honestly, it's shit. I would call it an overwrought, over-engineered, overly complex sim solution to a far simpler problem. Oh, I like this. This is very similar to, um, what, like, really fucking rich people do currently in these days, right? Like, like there, it's such a common trope, like, um, um, when people levy criticism at them, uh, people have all these, like, ridiculous ideas for, like, um, cutting down on traffic in the United States specifically, uh, um, like cities, city roads and highways and stuff are like jam packed at certain times of the day or just non stopped if you're in a big enough city, right? So then these like ultra rich like people come up with all these wild ass theories of ways to like bring it down. But then there's always someone who's like with very common sense, like all we need to do is like buff up and like put funding into standard mass transit that already exists, right? Either, like, uh, mass transit buses or train systems, right? And that would be, like, the perfect solution. But, of course, these people don't want to do that because they also want, like, a piece of the pie, right? They have, like, sometimes an ulterior motive rather than, like, enhancing pre-existing systems. Which isn't to say that's what is going on here, that he has an ulterior motive, right? per se. I mean, maybe he wants to get paid or whatever. <laughs> maybe that's it. But it is kind of analogous to that real world or not real world, because this is also like real world, but um, that current day sort of issue, right? Where there's a far easier easier solution, right? It's it's not necessary to go through all this, right? I, I want to go with this. We already have ways to harness the incredible strength of oxen and horses, so what's the point? ellipses we could even free the beast from their burden i'm on a fool's errand am i not it is what my father would have said as well i fear i'm a disappointment your father is also an inventor he is with a sharp mind and a sharper tongue if need be why did you leave in the first place i had to prove myself to my father i suppose and maybe my father had attempted to arrange me a marriage. I did not feel ready. It's not so bad, once you get used to it. You are right to evade it. It's a curse sent to man by a most malevolent force. Remain silent. <laughs> I mean, this is how we feel. Let's tell him. Let's, let's, let's get real. <laughs> you are right to evade it. It's a curse sent to man by a most malevolent force. I would have thought it providence, so that no one has to be alone, but with Eve on his side. It doesn't feel so. I'd rather be alone. If anyone, it is the work of Satan. <laughs> Eve was the temptress who led to the fall of man, after all. 
<laughs> let's, let's keep going into it. If anyone, it is the work of Satan. <laughs> Please, Andreas, do not call the ill presence to my house. We have had enough trouble since the Malia Malaeus Maleficarum was published. In any case, there is much more I have to learn. My inventions have not been as successful as I would like. Perhaps it's because you're lacking the correct frame of mind. Why so? Why so? I am not certain. I can envision such designs, but these do not coalesce. Think bigger, Baltus. Reach higher. You must have more ambition, a lofty goal. A successful design requires the simple elegance of function. We definitely gotta say that. Consider the aesthetic. Look for the substance that emerges from the harmony of paints. Have you tried military applications as Leonardo did? He invented many weapons. <laughs> right, this is also true of a lot of these really wealthy, uh, like tech sector people, right? They go on to, like, do arms manufacture, or indirectly, right? Uh, wasn't a big thing the people who made the fucking robot dogs and shit, Boston Dynamics? Now those are being used, even if it's not under the Boston Dynamics name, those fucking robot dogs are being used to kill people now, or in the near future, right? <laughs> oh, fuck. I laugh, but it is bad. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a coping mechanism. What can I say? <laughs> All right. A successful design requires the simple elegance of function. It was what I aimed for most of the time. Perhaps it has not been simple enough. But I thank you, Andreas. I invited you to exchange thoughts and you've proven most valuable. This conversation has given me much to consider. But now I guess I must return to work. Good luck, Baltus. Until later. Huh. Cool. And that didn't consume any time. It was legitimately just a little fun check-in. Okay. Should we do a check-in with Peter? I think maybe we should. Okay. Good. Did we go inside of here? The Steinauer house? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we definitely did. That's where the baby zone is. Okay. Let's head over here. Maybe it's the horse guy. He's, like, playing an instrument or something. Hey, Endress. Have you seen the soldiers on the hills? What has Peter gotten us into? Till. Hello, Master Muller. What about over here? I guess that's where the music is coming from. There's soldiers marching on the hills. Hello, Master Mahler. Zimmerman House. We'll have a look. Yeah, we haven't had a chance to talk with you lately. She doesn't look nearly as stressed out right now, but she definitely does look... stressed. Ava? Oh, Andreas. I'm so sorry, Ava. Are you alright? I'm so sorry. I knew something like this would happen. He believed in what he was doing. I know he was doing the right thing, but... Andreas, I was so scared. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm sure your family can help you, Ava. We'll get through this, all of us. It's hard to deal with death that's so sudden. It's hard to deal with death that's so sudden. I don't remember my mother. She was gone before I ever knew her. And now, Otz is never going to know his father. Ellipses. I'm sorry, Andreas. I'm just so tired. It's alright. Maybe we could come back later and share a meal together. Yes. I think that would help. Later, then. Until then. Jeez. Fuck me. I mean, I guess at least she won't have, if the, um, if that flag bearer's promises are true, right? Imagine this, if that did, if that doesn't pan out, not only is she fucked in that way, but because she doesn't, she doesn't have a man in the house, right? She loses their entire property and everything, right? 
while she's got like this little fucking baby because she's a woman. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, Johan. I wouldn't worry about Martin. <laughs> I mean, you're right about him, but I wouldn't worry about him. <laughs> Hans? Hey, Andreas. You really think those soldiers are going to attack the town? Very possible. God knows. God knows. I wish... I wish he'd tell us. I'm starting to get scared. Pray to St. Moritz and trust in God. We'll be fine, Hans. This will work out. Just be ready for anything. All right. Hetty? Hello, Andreas. Veronica? Hello, Andreas. Brigida? Hello. Anything new with you all? Probably not. Hello, Martin. Hello. Okay. Let's go on over here. Good, good, good. I want to check in on Peter as well. All right. Let's head over this way. Can we even? Yeah, we can. Hello, Andreas. Big Jorg. Hey. Hey, Andreas. How are you doing, Jorg? Can't you get your dad to calm down? How are you doing, Jorg? Uh, I'm alright. Veronica's helping Ava and Dad's mad all the time. I've tried to help- I've tried talking to him, but he won't- He won't back down now that Otto's- Well... I don't know what else to do. He won't make the winter if we don't do something. We'll work something out with the abbot. Just give it time. Let me solve Otto's murder first, then we can worry about the rest. If Peter hadn't flown off the handle, this would have been a lot easier. Huh. I feel like Andreas himself here is kind of grasping at straws, right? Like I mentioned earlier, like, Andreas is going, like, feet first into this investigation because it gives him, like, a feeling of purpose and, like, meaning when right now he feels like life is spinning out of control for him, right? And similarly, he's grasping at straws, hoping that him even solving the murder will fix anything, right? But even if we find the killer, problems will still continue, right? Like, with the Duke on the way here or whatever? Like, shit is still gonna be fucked, no matter which way you cut it. Right? Because they're not gonna concede more shit to them, right? Regardless of whether we find out who it is, push is still going to come to shove. I feel like, yeah, like I said, like I feel like this is an insight into Andreas as a character as well, you know, because no matter what what way you play Andreas, every response you have is still like, it's it's Andreas, right? You're playing a slightly different version of Andreas, but it's still always Andreas. Okay. Huh. In saying that, let's go with this. This feels in character. Let me solve Otto's murder first, then we can worry about the rest. I don't know if we have that long. You'd better hurry, Andreas. I'll let you get back to it then. Until later. Until then. How about inside? Man, it's kind of creepy how you can hear the horns coming over the hills then. That's like, like very fucked up and creepy. Hill Peter, anything new? No. Clara? No. Okay. Let's immediately go over to Gertrude and try to get those herbs, right? And then we can pick somewhere to investigate. We may even be able to look at the um, fuckers from, like, the hills, right? We may be able to see them approaching. I wonder how far, like, sound like that would even carry, you know? Like, is that for, like, real shit where you don't have much noise pollution, you know? Let's go over to the mill. Forgot we should check over here. Miller House. 
Paul? Nope, nothing. Let's go over this way. Leonard? Oh yeah, we could confront him. Andreas? Hello, Leonard. Do you have a moment? Sure. What do you want? Just letting you know, I'm on to you. I know about you and Hannah. So? Don't you have any propriety? I don't give a damn that you're cheating, but I heard you too by the ruins. Leonard, you're married. That's an affront to God. Huh. Let's, let's just be out about it. I don't give a damn that you're cheating, but I heard you two by the ruins. I told Hannah not to meet me there in the middle of the day. Stupid bitch. You think I give a shit who knows about us? I fucked most of the women in this town, Andreas. No one has ever done anything about it. You won't change that. <laughs> you don't scare me. What do you want? You said I could be a problem. You asked Hannah if she could be a murderer, but she never answered. Do you think she killed Otto? She said you both wanted Otto gone. She said you both wanted Otto gone. <laughs> of course we did. He was causing trouble. Doesn't mean I killed him, and I said as much. What about her? You could have lied to her. What about her? Hannah? <laughs> She's a devilish woman, sure, but too cowardly. She won't even admit to her husband he's a cuckold, much less murder Otto. If you're really looking for someone to blame, try Martin. There's something off about him, and Otto knew it. Right, but it's not... <laughs> it's not that. It's not that Martin's a murderer. It's that Martin's a different Martin. <laughs> well, I guess we've rested that then. Now, can we be done with this tiresome inquisition? I have things to do. All right. Else? Bless you, Master Mahler. Okay. Man. It's really feeling like we should po point the finger at... Um, What's his name? Brother Guy, right? Even if he's, like, I don't think he is guilty of being the murderer, right? Like we've said, a, a lot of the things don't uh, entirely pan out um, with regards to the the script, you know? That doesn't make sense. But a lot of other things do, and at the very least, disregarding all of that, it's definitely not Gerno, right? It's definitely not anyone else. So should we kiss? <laughs> I mean, someone's gotta, gotta gotta die, right? Someone's gotta die, you know. Look, I'm all. It's I've already got a guilty conscience and everything. Let's just start killing people, huh? Let's just start killing people. <laughs> Let's put it on brother guy because he's embezzling funds. He's caused a lot of problems. Does he deserve to die for it? No, but let's kill him. <laughs> Let's go to the forest. Hang on, let, let's check on uh, old Smokey here during the day. There we go. You have anything to say at the day? No. Okay, fair enough. Let's go over here. Before I forget, let's chat with Gertrude. Before we uh, call the vid. Over up this way. You can see them in the distance. Did you notice that? The little tents. Okay. Let's go over here. Good, good, good. Okay, and then Gertrude, right? Oh, hey, Margaret. Do you have anything to say? No. Oh, no, where's Gertrude? Oh, fuck, where's Gertrude at? Uh-oh. <laughs> is she still snoozing? Oh, gosh, is, is she, like, tending to some other duties or something? Oh, God, yeah, because she's not available at, like, the earliest hours. Priorus' house. Illuminata, you got anything to say? No. Okay. 
Go on down here. Hmm. I mean, we could, like, check the animal pens and stuff and see if she's there. I don't think that'll be the case, though. Because, right, they don't really come over here. We'll check it. Just as, like, a last-ditch effort. Okay. Over here, down this way, animal pens. Good. Like I said, I really don't anticipate anything. We can check the abattoir. There's really no reason to do it, though. Okay, sure. All right, well. Hmm. The interesting thing, though, here is, um, let's see, outer tassing. We have investigated at the mill, but we couldn't really do anything there, you know? Maybe we were supposed to talk to him again? I'm not sure. And then something would come up? Yeah, maybe that's how you handle that? Because we tried talking to Paul and Else, and they didn't have any option for us to investigate anything deeper. Right? Maybe we can talk to Leonard again, and then something else will crop up, right? Okay, yeah. Let's do that real quick. Actually, you know what, let's do that next time, because in the event that something does crop up, I'm gonna want to follow it. Right. Alright, well, there they are in the distance. I wonder if that's like a day away or what. Or hours, I guess. I don't know. Alright, things are heating up. Again, <laughs> until next time, please take care of each other.